Hey everybody! Well, today I found another cool little wood kit. Now I found this on Etsy, and it's just a—it's not a big kit. I mean, as you can see here, it's got a few uh, pieces like this. It's kind of like those Roker kits, you know. All these kits pretty much come from China, and they are laser etched, but they're fun to put together. So it's a—it's called a shuttle. Uh, you know, it's like a little. I don't know if it's supposed to be like a space shuttle or something like that, but it kind of reminds me of the shuttlecraft from Star Trek, the original series. And then it also comes with all of these. You can see there's some wheels in here, some rods for the axles. There's a motor right there that has one of those uh, wormhole or worm, what do you call these, worm gears or something like that. There's a battery uh, holder right there. It looks like two, I'm guessing, triple A's or double A's. And uh, yeah, and then... It's got a you know, few parts there. I think there's a housing piece in there too for where the motor goes. And then we have the instructions now. They sent me the wrong ones because these are all in Chinese. And so they emailed me and uh, sent me the English versions. But I'll, I'll just use uh, you know, um, Google Translate. But it looks like it's a relatively simple kit. So, I mean, here you can, this is what it looks like when it's done. See how cool it's kind of a cool little vehicle. And it's motorized. I'm guessing it just goes forward, probably. And there's all the parts, and you can just kind of see how there's that housing where the motor goes in there. So yeah, it's not like a real complicated kit, but it well, I say that now. <laughs> and you know how that goes. Sometimes I say that, and then it turns out to be a super difficult kit. But for the most part, it does look like it's pretty easy here. And there's not too many steps either. I think it looks neat when it's all done. It does kind of look like the shuttlecraft from Star Trek. All right, well, I'll go ahead and get started on this. If there's anything interesting with the build, I'll uh, show you that. But otherwise, I'll just show you when it's all finished. Yeah, all right, so this is going together pretty good, actually. I mean, it's not a, a difficult kit or anything. Uh, here is the motor. So it just kind of goes inside that little black assembly. It's in, you know, two halves that you put in there and uh, squeeze it together. Uh, let's see. Now, I did have to solder the wires to the motor. I, I don't really like to solder that much. I mean, I can get by, uh, but, you know, I managed to get it on there. I got this old soldering iron that I've used for I don't know how long. But, and, uh, <laughs> but you're going to have to do something because, you know, they do strip the wires at the end, which is nice, but trying to get them around those tiny little, I don't know if I can get in there and show you. There's like, see those little hoops right there? So those little hoops are, uh, you have to kind of lace the wires through there. And the wires are pretty long. I mean, I suppose you can just cut them uh, if it's too long. But then you got to twist them, you know, so that they'll go inside. It's like putting a needle through the, uh, a thread through the needle. <laughs> so uh, anyway, though, I mean, I got it on there. It's fine. I tested it. It works. And then everything else is going together pretty good. There's not that many pieces to this. And you don't really need to translate this to English because you just follow the pictures and it's pretty easy. All right. So I should have this done in just a bit. Okay, so here it is all built, and I just love it. I think it's pretty cool. It's pretty simple, you know, simple in design and, uh, you know, simple model in general. But I, I do love it, and I do like that they, you know, add these kind of markings on here. They're just kind of uh, laser etched in there. So the battery compartment halfway or like partially sticks out on the back so that you can get to the little switch. It's one of those battery compartments where you just flip the knob, and when the knob touches the spring. That's what makes the circuit on it. There's even some detail back here. And then on this side, it's pretty much what it looked like on the other side, but just opposite. And then here's the front. I kind of like this uh, angled uh, windshield. A little bit of stuff down here. That's, what, that's why I keep thinking of this as the Galileo 7 shuttlecraft from uh, Star Trek, the original series, because it, it looks like it with this angle right here. And then here's what the wheels look like underneath. And then you also have, uh, well, let's see, I guess we can show you this too. There's like a little bit of design on the top. And then this little uh, lid flips up, like the top here. You can just lift this up. And I think that's pretty cool. So you can lift that up, and then there's the battery and the motor in there. So you can get in there and change the batteries when you have to. It uses two triple A's. And then the lid just goes right back on, just like that. All right, well, let me turn it on. Uh, oh, I should mention, uh, when it's on a flat surface, oh my gosh, this thing zips across really fast. So I'll try to show it more on carpet because the carpet uh, slows it down a lot better, which is uh, the speed that I wish it would have had on a flat surface. But, you know, at least you can play with it on the carpet too. 
Okay, so to turn it on, you just push the uh, little lever right here down, like this. And you can see it's just front wheel drive. And this thing hauls. I mean, it's like, <laughs> it's hard for me to catch it. So it moves really quick. I mean, you really have to catch it. So probably depends on the battery power too, but there we go. All right, so now, oh my gosh, let me try it on carpet because it's a lot more easy to manage. All right, so let me try it on. This may not be the easiest thing to uh, film here. There we go. Now see how it moves at a much more manageable speed and it will stop if it hits like a thicker part of the carpet. So yeah, I mean, and it, these batteries aren't brand new batteries either, so it'll probably be able to manage it better. You can give it a push too. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, it probably would work better on a flat surface. I'm not, I, I'm not really sure if it was actually meant to work on carpet, to be honest with you. But it will, and I think it would be better if I had fresh batteries in there. It was working better earlier, so I think these batteries are about kind of weak now. <laughs> Can't quite get it to kind of go as good as I was. All right, well, anyway, there we go. But it does work, and it works really good. All right, well, there we go, the fun little wood model kit of a moon buggy shuttle or something like that. I think is what they called it, a moon buggy. A very simple kit to put together, uh, didn't take long at all. Uh, $20 is what this costs. I found it on Etsy, so if you want one, I'll put a link in the description. Um, I don't even know the name of the company that I got this from. <laughs> uh, it took a little while to get here because it comes from China, where I think the vast majority of these wood kits come from. In fact, it's probably the same company making all of them for all the companies, you know, I mean, you know how that stuff goes. But it's a fun little kit, won't take you very long to put together. Um, as far as that soldering, you don't have to solder those wires on there. If you're better at wrapping those wires around those little loops on those motors, uh, if you're better than me at doing it, you won't have a problem with it. You can even put maybe a small dab of hot glue on there just to hold them in. But I, I went ahead and did the uh, uh, soldering just to make sure it stayed in place. But uh, there we go, the fun little wood moon buggy kit. All right, well, that's it for this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. I'd very much appreciate it. And until the next time, I'll see you on the next video. So thank you so much for watching, and have a good one.